Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilona and as usual I'm so excited to see you here and in this very quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate a very nice paper document using just standard tools. If it sounds cool, don't forget about your activity on the channel because it's, it's very important and let's start. Okay, so we have several shapes uh, with uh, the paper, as you can see, page one, two, three, and so on and so forth. And now we have to add masks to all of them and, of course, animate all these masks. Well, let's start from this one. I'm going to select rectangle and here is a tricky moment to make sure that you work uh, in the mask uh, mode and not shape mode. In this case, you can draw a mask on your shape. Okay, let's take a look here. Something like this. And now we have to animate pass of the mask. And let's open our shape. Something like this. Okay, cool. Now we have to do the same uh with all other shapes let's do it select this shape rectangle shape uh sorry mask mode and then animate pass i'm going to use the same timing and later i will definitely edit it okay cool And the same for other for other um, shapes. Okay, great. What we have? Perfect. Uh, okay, not perfect, but uh, almost there. Uh, please pay attention how I draw all these masks. As you can see, I draw uh, it very close to the shape where the shape uh, begins. I mean here and here so almost on this border it's very important uh, just because if you want to set the perfect timing and then edit uh, the spacing and make uh, the animation more interesting without any you know pauses or gap uh, in the animation between animations um, these uh, moments means a lot so pay attention on it okay now we have to uh, set the timing for all these parts of the document so let's start it should be our first part then it should be then we have to draw this part and then this one this one and the last also pay attention uh, at the size of each part so obviously 15 frames for this part is too much and 15 frames for this huge part of the paper maybe is not enough so let's take a look what we have and then add it yeah you see we have huge differences and we can fix it I'm going to change the spacing here. And ease out here. Okay, much better. So you can work with it even more and spend more time on this face, but for me it looks it looks not bad. Okay, cool. Let's select all. 
um, of these layers of these shapes and move to the precompose let's call it dock okay nice and now exactly on this pose i'm going to add uh, puppet uh, pins using puppet tool let's do it here probably here 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 okay why it's very important to add pins exactly at this, uh, you know, final pose. Because in this case, you will get the correct mesh. If you select the mesh, you will see uh, how it looks. It covers the whole document. Because uh, if you add, uh, you know, pins somewhere here, you will get only this part for um, mesh and uh, other parts of the document. You just, just want cover and uh, the puppet tool will work not super you know nice and correctly okay now let's animate this puppet pin let's do it somewhere here and i'm gonna do it like this so just shift it a little bit our animation looks awful but it's just because we have to add the bounce expression to all of them and it's absolutely for free so you can just google it and if i you know won't forget i will attach uh, the expression uh, in the uh, description but trust me it's very easy to find it in internet okay let's add it here and i'm gonna change the parameter maybe something like this and then copy expression only select all of the pins and press ctrl plus v okay let's see what we have okay cool and now we have to change the timing for these animations as well based on the current animation of the paper uh, to again to create more natural uh, animation as a result let's do it one by one And what we have. Okay. I would like to change the value here just a little bit copy expression and again paste okay cool and as a bonus tip i'm going to show you how to add text or any other graphics on this uh, paper document for example let's imagine that these lines are our text and we have to animate the position uh, for this layer based on the animation of this part of the document let's do it and move it up okay cool and of course we have to add set mate effect uh, and use sms this shape and now it works perfectly you can do the same for this layer i mean this one here oops just don't forget to change the mask okay and of course you can animate this text uh, even more because uh, it should be actually animated until the end of the you know full animation of this document i mean this text should move here and then here and then here but actually i just don't like it because uh, the animation looks kind of glitchy and uh, it's 
too much for me. I just don't like how it looks. But you can experiment and maybe you will get very nice result. Also, I just changed a bit uh, the animation for the position of the pins, uh, make it not so, you know, extremely. And now the whole animation, the full animation looks more natural and nice. Again, experiment with timing, experiment with spacing and get your beautiful result. And as usual, I remind you that the project file from this tutorial is already available on my Patreon. You can find the link in the description. So join, support me and my content and get early access and project files to the you know, upcoming tutorials. And who knows, maybe even some special content. Special thanks to my dear patrons who already subscribed on my page. Guys, I hope you know that you are incredible and I appreciate your support uh, so much. So that's it. Thanks for your time. Thanks for being here and see you in the next video. Bye, guys.